Hello everybody, it's Wizbro100, you're the viewers and I'm the vlogger. Welcome to the November vlog of 2014. So let's get started. I want to try something new just to uh, not waste your guys' time when I'm up to, uh, giving uh, an update and uh, reflect on what has happened over this month. Uh, and as brought up by Down Phoenix, uh, you don't have to be watching the video, but play it in the background and just listen to what I have to say about what I've done this month and so forth. So, let's begin. Videos you might have missed. Rogue Legacy demo impressions, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire remake demo impressions, Clock Tower Halloween review, Is It Worth It NES Remix 1 and 2. Be sure to check that out. It's pretty recent and uh, I think I did a pretty good job on it. Lots of Sunday showcase such as Splatterhouse on PS3, Expendable on Dreamcast, A Bug's Life on PlayStation 1, and Donkey Kong Land on the Game Boy, played on the Super Game Boy. So game on, boy. Stuff I got. Games. Uh, well, most of you have probably heard about this already, and especially if you follow my Twitter, but I, but for those that didn't, I got the Smash Bros, uh, Super Smash Bros Wii U game, but it's not just that. No, I didn't get the bundle. I got the steel bookcase, the free $100 steel bookcase, where uh, you can only put the game, but not the manual, because it's uh, too small. It was a Future Shop exclusive, and, oh, it's still pretty cool. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, uh, yeah, you gotta get the 3DS game. Well, not necessarily. I wasn't gonna get it because my 3DS had uh, problems with its L and A button, but uh, thankfully, despite all that, with the customizable controls that they didn't show in the demo that I did, um, yeah, I was able to play the game and be uh, decent or competent in playing it. So, uh, yeah, got it. And uh, also got the uh, soundtrack, or going to get the soundtrack CD, and the Mewtwo DLC, so there's that. Donkey Kong Country uh, Tropical Freeze. Uh, I've opened it only to put the Nintendo code in. I haven't gotten around to playing it. Same with the Smash Bros. game too, so we'll get around to playing that. Maybe on Sunday Showcase. Tomo Dirty Life. Why do I have this? Uh, I like the demo and I wanted more. I got it and uh, it's more of what I wanted to play. I got more out of it. Yeah, I, I liked it. Would I recommend it? Play the demo first. Oh yes, and one more thing uh, that scared the shit out of me is that you can actually rip the, the little thing that it comes with to uh, give two demos to your friends to give them an exclusive uh, panda suit, which you can't get in the game normally, or something like that. But The weekly Humble Bundle that had the Beat Hazard Ultra game in it with the DLC, paid a dollar for it and got the uh, Shadow Oper Shatter Shadow Operations, which is uh, pretty cool. I will get around to playing that. Urgh. I finally got my hands on it. Battletoads on the NES at uh, ANC on Black Friday. Or I'm doing this on Black Friday, by the way. Or well, Black Friday's over, but it was, that was the plan. Got it at ANC Games for $39.99. Trust me, that price is uh, as good as it will probably get. The equipment I got. Now, uh, this is Black Friday. Really, really. My wallet is now hungry and is starving. Uh, basically, I used up a lot of money that I saved. So the equipment I got is a 64 gigabyte uh, memory stick for, uh, well, I was gonna use it to transfer stuff, but, well, still kinda is, but I'm using it mostly for my Wii U to store more games because, you know, 32 gigs isn't enough, so I'm taking the uh, other the other 32 gig I had in it and using that as a transport and or using for uh, HD Oh wait, there was nothing wrong with that. HD PVR uh, rocket recording, so uh, there's that too. Uh, one thing that I was not really expecting to get, uh, that I did an unboxing video for, or I recorded, filmed an unboxing video for it, uh, I got this, the 8 Apollo, um, RCA, uh, tablet. Yeah, Black Friday, it was, uh, $69.99, and it was like, huh, eh, that was a good price. Well, actually, me and my sister were gonna get it for, uh, our mumsies, but, uh, well, we, we talked through, we talked about it when we were there, and it was like, she's probably not gonna use this, so... So, and my sister convinced me to use it for uh, my video game reviews in the sense of uh, using it for my scripts. And uh, I was like, you know, yeah, that's a good idea. It'll save a lot of uh, paper, and I can just read it from wherever I'm doing. So, like, right here, it's just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to keep turning around looking at my uh, computer or having to run back to it to record. So, yeah, got it. And I know it's not going to be amazing. Honestly, I have no need for a tablet. I never really thought about getting a tablet, but cheap price and well 
all the tiny little specks right there. But uh, so far, I'm kind of liking it because I, I personalized it to me. Poisonalized it to me. Now, the biggest investment, because uh, it was also a really, really good opportunity, was uh, a blue Snowball Yeti mic. This thing is awesome. Like, everyone on the internet, um, you know, audio, talking about audio is like, oh, it's amazing, it's great, and stuff. And you know, I'm typically the type that goes like, eh, I, I don't, I don't want to follow your stuff. But, you know, I've been looking for really good audio uh, equipment, and uh, thank you, Zero Master, for recommending me the uh, Blue uh, Microphone series and, and whatnot. So uh, I got it, and everyone has a good reception or positive receptions for it, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. Um, I got mine off Amazon. Oh, I also wanna thank my sister for helping me uh, get it for $89.99, as opposed to uh, the 129 I was going to get at Future Shop, because it saved me 40 bucks to get, uh, well, Battletoads. Um, the original price of the Snowball Yeti is originally uh, $179.99, which uh, about, let's just say it just turns out around 200. Uh, the price you pay for it does kind of make sense for the quality that you're getting. There's so many settings and features on it, and the audio is so awesome and amazing. Like, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just all over it. I'm just all over it. It's so great. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked to be using it for recording, okay? I'm always trying to make um, the show I do on LazyWorks Creation, like, you know, as good as possible. You know, lighting, audio, and uh, which are actually my weakest points, uh, you know quality scripts and so yeah always trying to improve the show and getting just all the stuff to make it better it's uh it's an investment but you know but yeah i'm pretty sure it's gonna pay off so i hope you guys will uh keep supporting the show and the quality of it will just keep going up so um yeah plans i have and such for world domination or internet domination well there's gonna be the return of the sega genesis quickies for season two yeah, I've been working on it, and I already have the stuff for the first episode, so expect that next week and such. So, yeah, Sega Genesis Quickies will be returning, and should be a weekly thing if uh, I can... Yeah, it can be a weekly thing. I'll just have to work out my schedule and stuff. Not necessarily promises. It's either going to be week, weekly or bi-weekly, depending on, like, you know, how well, like, uh, the week goes and such. But for now, I am letting you guys know that uh, Sega Genesis Quickie... Season 2 is coming. Some more Is It Worth It, with the recent episode being uh, NES Remix 1 and 2, because Nintendo's is about to release the ultimate NES Remix, and I wanted to talk about it to give you guys an idea on whether you should get it or not get it. So I hope you guys will go watch that video if you haven't seen it. You know, if you enjoy it, like it, comment, share, and fucking give it to like other people to see it if they're like wondering, like, hmm, no, uh, hey man, should I get the uh, NES Remix? I don't know, why don't you check this uh, Wiss Whisper guy I want to just, you know, just share it, help me out, and just, the show will just keep on going, like the Energizer Bunny. Obviously, more Sunday Showcase, as it's always a weekly Sunday uh, show, with the exception of the last one, where I just didn't edit, render, upload fast enough for it to be on Sunday, so it ended up being on Monday, but it's still going to be a Sunday Showcase thing. Um, I'm going to go record it right after uh, this vlog. Um, I really want to go to sleep, but I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys, and I try to do my best uh, to entertain you guys, whether it turns out not that great or it turns out really, really good, or at least to my satisfactory. Satisfactory? That sounds like a pop group, hmm. or some music group. Things I've done. I saw Horrible Bosses 2. It was not a horrible movie, but it certainly was frustrating to watch. Mainly for me. Everyone else was laughing. I mean, the reason why everyone was laughing was because everyone loves the dick jokes. Well, getting past the dick jokes, uh, I did transfer my uh, Wii data to my Wii U, which is do not do. That is an absolutely terrible choice, and here's why. For those of you who own N64 games on your uh, Wii, and you know, you get to play it on your mm, GameCube controllers, when you transfer it to the Wii U, you can't exactly play with those. And I wanted to play with those, but, oh, didn't think about that until the last second. And the GameCube adapter apparently does not uh, allow you to play uh, the Virtual Console N64 games, which sucks, which means I need to get a whole new set of controllers instead of just using my GameCube controllers. Nintendo and their bad decisions. They've been making a bunch of bad decisions lately. On a more positive note, for me at least, I knocked out Mike Tyson. 
in the NES Punch-Out game. Yeah, I knocked him out. Third round, trying to get better and knock him out in the second round, and uh, we'll attempt to try and knock him out in the first round, which is very, very difficult as you need to be very, very skilled. But on the other hand, I did survive uh, round one with Mike Tyson blindfolded. Yeah, but if you haven't heard about the, this thing with uh, Mike Tyson uh, fight and fighting him blindfolded or punch out in general from Sinister One and uh, my friend Daniel who has proven that you can beat Mike Tyson blindfolded with uh, skill strats and just listening to it through your ear, so... Yeah, I may eventually do that. I could probably do that. Just need to get to know Mike Tyson more. With my fist in the game. A very unexpected thing is uh, I met uh, Erica Sabo, which was um, unexpected. I saw her videos like, uh, like a year ago before, and I never thought for the longest time I would ever like see this person uh, in person. She was a very sweet, modest uh, YouTuber in person, and just like, oh, it was pretty cool talking about her. Um, we were actually thinking of doing a small little collab, just something uh, uh, short and simple to start off our our, our grand collaboration and stuff, so if you're fans of Erica Shabba or if you haven't heard of her, um, go check out her channel. She does video games and anime stuff, but uh, obviously keep watching me for the video games. I got my old uh, CRTV back, which is uh, actually very important for uh, mostly for my retro games and for the Super Scope, which is uh, you've been seeing it here for the longest time, and I do actually have a script uh, to uh, talk about it on a I believe it was on a plug-and-play, but if it doesn't make it on a plug-and-play because someone else did it before me, even though I think I said, like, I wanted to do it, then, well, it's, it's gonna turn it into a... I'll turn it into an Is It Worth It episode and just do my own, like, take on it. So, but, yeah, CRTV, if you haven't already heard, you can't play, um, light gun games on on these newer, uh, flat screens and such, so old CRTV back, and just, like, BAM! There we go. Time for some good old light gun games. And lots of battery usage. Now, I know I mentioned this in a previous vlog somewhere, but uh, once again, I cleaned up my uh, room and my work area, so now it's more spacious, so... Uh, it also looks a lot neater, like my second computer right there that you can't see, because uh, I don't have it turned right there, uh, is where I do my recordings for my um, uh, retro games using the Dazzle and such, and, and for streaming, and now that the setup is much, much more uh, neater and cleaner, because I used to have my anime DVDs there that I haven't watched, Watch that, and I moved it to somewhere else where it looks pretty cool, uh, down below. It, it's not near my pants! Shut up! And the reason I mentioned my room is because, uh, since it's gonna be close to, oh, very well winter time, and, uh, my furnace, uh, not shutting the hell up to keep us warm, uh, my room has been a lot cleaner and neater, so now I'm actually probably gonna shoot a few videos there. I already shot one video of me unboxing the Yeti mic and the, uh, 8, uh, RCA 8 Apollo, so... Uh, and it's just an unboxing, it's a, it's a pretty quick video, that's gonna be a site exclusive, by the way. I don't think it's appropriate to put it on, uh, my game reviewing game channel, even though... Well, unless I review it, then that's a different, that's a different, uh, topic, but, you know, an unboxing video that's not quite game related, I think I'll just keep it site exclusive, so, uh... Be sure to go check that out and see what I kind of think, even though there's not going to be much. But I am super, super stoked and excited, which probably kind of already ruined it, as I already have it open. But hey, in first initial reactions, and you know how I enjoy reactions, much like all you guys' reaction, because I like to see if uh, you guys enjoy the video. So I hope this video was a lot quicker and faster than before, so that uh, you know you guys get all the information uh, about uh, what I've done this month so far. Be sure to check out all the videos that I mentioned that I will list in the uh, description bar and um, blah, 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 blah. like, comment, share, share for people to watch and stuff and like let, let's get Wiz War 100 and Lazy Works Creation known some more so more cool things can happen for you guys because if it wasn't for you guys this show would have been just dead and there would have been generally no point in me in investing all in all of this stuff like uh, you know, outside of just my own entertainment, say. So, I just wanted to share that with you all. The entertaining videos and stuff, not the whole fact thingy. Uh, end of vlog. Good night. This is WizWorld 100. You're the viewers and I'm the vlogger. So, stay tuned for more. Bye! watching me for the video games. I need, I need the, the views.
That sound that sounded pretty desperate, I gotta say. Don't completely ignore that. <laughs>